study, I have collected different types of rocks. I was fascinated when I came to know how they are formed. Sand is also actually a rock. It's a rock that has been broken down from bigger rocks. So, I was curious to know what in the world could be strong enough to break down a rock. Would you believe it? It's plain ordinary water. Of course, if I put this rock in this jar of water and wait here all day long, it's not going to break down the rock. It actually takes a lot of time and something else. And that something else is a phenomena called freezing. When that water freezes, it expands. And nothing in the world can stop it when that water is expanding. When it rains or snows, that freezing water has the power to even break down the rock. So, I'm going to demonstrate through some experiments. The simplest way is a raw egg. A raw egg is 90% water. I'll just put it in the freezer and check it after 8 hours. Oh, the liquid inside the egg has frozen and it got bigger and has cracked the shell of the egg. Another tastier way is through the chocolate balloon. I'm going to take a balloon filled with water. Then I'm going to coat this balloon with a chocolate syrup that is thick enough to form a nice outer coating. Then I'll take a skew stick and poke it through the neck of the balloon and hang it in the freezer. After 8 hours, I'm going to check it. Wow! The water in the balloon has frozen and it has cracked the chocolate covering and even pushed itself out of the balloon. Let's do it with a stronger thing now. That is the plaster of Paris. Here we go. If I keep this balloon inside this cup and pour POP on it, the balloon wants to float on the surface as it's lighter in weight. For this, I'm using a thumbtack to poke a hole in the center of the cup. Then I'm going to use a pencil to make the hole bigger. The next trick is to get the neck of the balloon through this hole. I'll use a twist tie to coil around it and make sure that it holds. Now I'm going to scrunch the end through the hole of the cup. Then I'm going to tape it nicely to the bottom. Now I have a balloon inside that's not gonna float on the surface. Let's wait till it hardens. After drying it for a day, I'm going to cut away the cup with the scissor and put it in the freezer. After 8 hours, I'm going to check it again. Look at the cracks. The water has expanded and it has cracked the plaster. The water is so strong that it could break this plaster. It has even pushed itself out of the POP. This shows that water gets bigger on freezing. I'm so excited. I want to try this with other things too. So, I'm going to put honey, sugar, vegetable oil, air, chocolate syrup, and iron fillings in the balloons. I'll repeat the same procedure of covering with POP and see what happens to each of the plaster. I can see here that none of the plaster has cracked. That means that only water expands on freezing while other substances do not. I enjoyed doing my experiment and I have learned that water shows anomalous behavior as it expands on cooling and it's responsible for weathering of rocks. Thank you!